Okay, so I wanted to start with the movie Taken. So have any of you, have any of you seen the movie? Yes. Those of you? And for those of you who haven't, it's about a dad whose daughter goes to a foreign country with her friend, and then she gets kidnapped and becomes a sex trafficking victim, and he ends up saving her. So I would highly recommend you watch it. It's a good movie. The United Nations International Labor Organization estimates that there are 12.3 million people worldwide in forced labor, bonded labor, and sexual servitude. After reading two books and researching several articles online, I'm well aware of what human trafficking is. Human trafficking is a serious issue across the United States and the world. So I'm going to talk to you about how it works, human trafficking in the United States and the world, and what is being done and can be done to further prevent human trafficking. So how does human trafficking work? The traffickers get their victims by offering the victims a better life, educational opportunities, a good job, and marriage. And the victims are brought into trafficking by neighbors, family members, boyfriends, friends, and strangers. So the traffickers keep their victims by threatening them with debt bondages that they owe them because they brought them into this country. And they threaten that if they leave, their they're going to murder their family and hurt their family and the traffickers force the victims to take drugs. And the traffickers keep their passport so that if the victims try to go to the police or anything, they'd be illegally in that country. And tra most traffickers keep their victims in a stage where the victims can't even control and they eat or sleep. So the victims are raped, physically abused, forced to, to do drugs, and forced to have abortions, and they're psychologically tortured. And the victims obtain STDs such as HIV or AIDS, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression, anxiety, and insomnia. So human trafficking in the U.S. and the world. So on this map, it shows the orange is the worst countries. So as you can see, Russia, Venezuela, and Iraq are some of the worst. And the two different trees of blue are on the watch list, so they're in between. And some of the best are the green, and the United States is in that, but it, of course, is still a problem. So the average price of human trafficking victim is $90 globally, and it is estimated that 800,000 victims are trafficked across the U.S. border. And the United States Homeland Security estimates $32 billion are legally made through human trafficking each year. The average age of a trafficking victim is 12, but they can start as young as infants. And as human trafficking is one of the fastest growing criminal industries, it is second, the second largest criminal enterprise. And only 1-2% to of victims are ever rescued. So what is being done and should be done to help human trafficking? So the San Francisco John School is a place where prostitutes tell their scared straight stories to men being prosecuted for solicitation. And through this, the men's prosecution for solicitation is forgiven when they take the course. And most men end up crying by the end of it. And they pay, the men pay $1,000 for an eight hour session. And 39 other cities have adapted a program similar to the John School and it is based off of the John School too. The Turney Foundation is ran by a married couple, Rani and Chong Yang, who are two former human trafficking victims. And through their shelters, victims are kept safe and they learn life skills and job skills. So after learning about human trafficking, how it works, human trafficking in the world, in the United States, and what is and should be done. So what should be done is that more programs like the Ronnie, the Trani Foundation and the San Francisco John School should happen because the victims are kept safe and we can prevent further traffickers. So across the world, human trafficking is a serious growing issue. Not only do I want you all to vote for laws preventing human trafficking, We'll also tell others about the dangers of human trafficking so they don't become a victim of human trafficking. Every 30 seconds, someone falls a victim to modern day slavery.
Please take the action in preventing human trafficking. Five minutes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh.